Hey, this is Dr. Dan Purser, danpursermd.com. Kara Singh, who's probably a really brilliant person. She's an MD, PhD at, uh, on genetics at the Cleveland Clinic, which is just one of the top three medical clinics in the US, period. She made a comment once about the MTHFR that if you don't have a high homocysteine level, don't treat it. I'm gonna disagree with Kara Singh, PhD, MD. Whether you have a high homocysteine level or not, I have nearly 2,000 spectra cell results that show MTHFR causes various vitamin and mineral deficiencies. And those people have a lot of fatigue. They're on Ritalin, they're on Adderall, they're on ProVigil, NuVigil, something help them make it through the day or affects their Zoloft, some kind of antidepressant. Who knows what they're on, but they're on something trying to deal with those MTHFR symptoms. Forget the homocysteine level, it's still really critical, but whether it's high or whether it's normal, get treated for your MTHFR. Forget that number two search result on Google. Every physician reads it and thinks you don't need to treat MTHFR. Listen to me, I've treated thousands and thousands of patients with this. This is Dr. Dan Purser. God bless and go in good health.